What's going on everybody? Emmer the Hammer here and today I'm going to show you how to do a deadlift. So a deadlift is one of the most commonly done wrong exercises that I've ever seen. A lot of people use the wrong muscles, do it so wrong that they're going to injure themselves, they're going to injure their back and I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. We're going to eliminate all of those myths and wrong ways of doing it. So let's get started. I have my friend Michelle here and I'm going to show you using her as an example. So we're going to walk right up to the bar right and we're going to keep our feet parallel with each other okay we're going to walk right to the bar so we get our shins right to the bar okay now we're going to come down and grip it and sometimes you see people use an over under grip i wouldn't recommend an over underhand grip so which would be one hand over one hand under okay i wouldn't recommend that until the weight gets very heavy where you would need it so we're just going to do two hands over and one thing to know, always keep your elbows locked. If you start bending your elbows, you're gonna to pull too much with your bicep and you can strain your bicep, especially when you have heavy weight loaded up. So now that we have that position, we're gonna roll our shoulders back, put our chest up, okay? And we're gonna push all of our weight to the back. This exercise uses your hamstrings and your glutes, so the back half, the posterior chain of your body. A lot of people lift with their quads, it's like doing a squat guys, so there's no difference between doing a squat and a deadlift if you're going to lift like that except the bar's in a different position under you instead of over you like a squat. So to make sure we eliminate that, we're going to lean back as far as we can, push our weight all the way back. So you're going to see when we do that, her toes almost come all the way off the ground because she's pushing back and loading up her hamstrings, loading up our glutes so that she has the weight and the power to pull from there. So when you load up your hamstrings and your glutes, you have a lot more power there. And that's where this exercise is coming from and your erectors. So we're going to roll our shoulders back. Okay, we're going to lift, put the weight back. And we're gonna lift keeping the bar, the bar in line with your body. So you want the bar to rub against your quads and your shins as you go up and down. Go back down, good, keep the bar in line with your body, perfect. Go back up, good, perfect. And at the top, you're gonna to flex your, your glutes, really flex your butt, guys. Go back down, good. Making sure you're breathing on the way up, good. Shoulders back, good, perfect, back down. Make sure you're pushing all the way back on the way up and the way down. Looking straight forward, eyes are always straight forward. Ready? Go. Good. Push your butt back, butt back, butt back. Good. There you go. Two more. Good. Make sure your butt's pushing right back. All the way back. Good. All the way back so your toes are almost off the ground. One more. Good. And butt back. There you go. And as you can see, she has a flat back. Her back isn't rounding out. And a lot of people make that mistake where as they lift the weight, their back starts rounding out. What happens when your back rounds out? You put excessive weight on your vertebrae. Your vertebrae is like a string. If you put weight on it, it will snap. It will break, guys, and you're going to be really, really injured. And that's why a lot of people don't do deadlifts. They're really discouraged by it because they have injuries from doing them in the past, from doing them wrong. So you guys saw the right way of doing it. Michelle showed you the right way, and she's an animal, guys. Look at her. So... Check me out on Facebook, official Amber the Hammer page, and Twitter, Amber the Hammer. Thank you for watching.